This video is about making a CD from the learning tracks found on Groupanizer so that you could play them in your car or elsewhere. You should be reasonably familiar with the Sounds of Aloha's Groupanizer website. If you are not, there is a learning tutorial about Groupanizer. It's about a half hour long. Uh, found here. But all you really need to know for this uh, process of making the CD is how to sign in. And those sign in instructions are begin at three minutes of this uh, tutorial on YouTube. The first order of business is to pick the learning tracks that you want on the CD. Uh, if you don't know what the, which ones those are, a good source would be the January 9th intervals that uh, Ed Reed just put out, which listed uh, all those songs that we were going to work on on uh, January 9th. So, go to Groupanizer. The way I do that is to go into my uh, favorites and come to the Sounds of Aloha Chorus page on Groupanizer. Of course, if you don't have Groupanizer saved in your favorites, you can go directly to www.soa.groupanizer.com. And when I get there, I go to the members only uh, section of Groupanizer. And when I get there, I go to the music list by clicking on the logo on the dashboard that says music. And I decide which ones I am going to burn. The first one I'm going to pick is eight days a week. I will click on the name of the song. And then I will see the attachments that are available on Groupanizer for eight days a week. For each song, there is a PDF, which is the sheet music for that song. And then there are the audio tracks. For this CD, I'm going to use the audio track of the, all the parts blended together. And then I'm, since I'm a bass, I'm going to also select the uh, bass predominant uh, coming out of the left stereo speakers in my car. I'm going to do that one first. So to pick that track and get it into a place where I can burn it onto a CD, I right click this particular track and then I left click save link as. That brings up Windows Explorer, and I can then go to my music uh, place in my libraries. I'm using Windows 8, so that's your, your Windows Explorer may look a little different, but it's all here. And under my music, I have a folder called Music for Sounds of Aloha. And for this CD, I'm going to make another folder in Music for Sound of Aloha by clicking New Folder, and I'm going to type the name of that folder is Learning CD. Type Enter, and then double-click that folder to put it up at the top. And now, when I select this eight days a week, a less rangy base left, and go save, that that track is in this folder, Learning CD. 
Now I go back to Groupanizer and I right click on the, uh, the all parts version of track of eight days a week. I left click on save link as and uh, it brings me back to where I was. So all I have to do is click save. And the second track is in that folder. I'm ready to pick another song. I go to the back button on my browser and it brings me back to the song list. And I'm going to pick Sure Up Charlie for the next one. And I will just go ahead and enter these without putting the process uh, in this video. So I have picked three songs and I have both my part predominant and the overall version of each in this folder for six tracks. Now I have to figure out how to burn it to the CD. So now you put a blank CD into your CD DVD drive and then you pick a way to burn the tracks that you have uh, put in that folder onto that CD. Now I can only show you the method that I use in Windows 7 because that's the program, that's the version of Windows that is on my computer. If you have a different version of Windows, you may need to use a different version of how you burn to the CD, but it's easy to find using Google. Google is your friend and you can type one of these things or copy or type one of these things into the search place in your computer. I'm pasting it in there now and then I will go and click the search button and I will find how to burn a CD in, or a DVD in Windows Media Player for Windows 8 or Windows XP or Windows... I, I picked 8 at this time, but all you have to do is change the 8 to uh, XP and search again and you will find how to copy uh, music to and from an audio CD in Windows XP. And when you click here, you'll get detailed directions as to how to do that for your particular version of Windows. Now let me just show you what happens in my case using Windows 7. I put the CD into my CD DVD burner drive. And when I go back to Windows Explorer and click on that drive, which in my case is a D drive, it says drag files to this folder to add them to the disk. Well, the files are up here in the learning CD folder. And it's actually easier for me to simply select all of them right click on all of them, click copy, then go down to the DVD drive, right click there, and click paste. And now it says files ready to be written to the disk. And I have a place up here where it says burn to disk. And I click on that, I get prepare this disk where I'm able to select a, uh, a title and a recording speed. I would just leave them alone, click next. And then you have to select make an audio CD for standard audio D CD players or for make a data disk. Right here, I obviously we want to make an audio disk for standard audio CD players. You click Next, and you get Windows Media Player, which comes up. And over on the right is the burn list. Cheer up, Charlie, etc. And up here, you click Start Burn.
and it tells you down at the bottom the percentage burned to the D drive, which is where your uh, where your blank CD is. It's uh, now up to 11 percent. I'm not going to have you uh, sit here and watch my uh, my my CD burn. This is the end of the process. When you're done with that, the disc should eject. You should be able to take it out to your car and play it. Good luck.